Was that blood? Jeez. Mm. Just moving together already. Hello fellow anime geeks and welcome to another first impression video in this 2020 spring season and my personal never-ending quest to try absolutely everything that I can. Today I watched Kitsutsuki Tante Dokoro and as usual I'll be organizing my thoughts by answering these four questions in the hopes that it might give you enough info to determine if this is something worthwhile for you. Mal had two tags for this, mystery and historical, and I would say that this is a traditional cozy detective mystery. There are some obvious comparisons to the Sherlock Holmes series, our protagonist's attitude is willful and his methods are reckless and sometimes above the law. Some of my favorite Sherlock Holmes stories are actually where he lets the bad guy go and we're sort of forced to remember that he's not a police officer. I really enjoyed seeing our protagonist messing with the police in this episode and him being depicted as not, you know, cookie cutter perfect. We leave that to the Watson character, who in this anime is beyond loyal and giving. But this show seems less trick-based and more human drama centered, so in that respect it reminds me less of Sherlock and more of Poirot in terms of mood and the cases that they're going to be solving, because it seems like it's going to be focused more on reading human behavior and the human drama that caused the cases instead of like how they pulled off a trick. In fact, Fugo Keji this season reminds me more of the quick-paced equal partnership of the newer modern Sherlock. And even the art feels cozy. There's sleek, clean lines and simplified backgrounds, but then there's textures over rich color blocks. So the result is this comfortable, almost old-timey type atmosphere. The Crunchyroll description says that this is set in the late Meiji era, so my guess is around 1900, which I find interesting because Apare Ranman this same season is set at around that same time. Plot-wise, we got to see the foundation of the Kitsutsuki Detective Agency this episode, and I'm not even gonna pretend that I know any Japanese literature in order to try to begin to understand that name. We also got to see our protagonist in action as this episode revolved around a specific case, but we also got very clear looks at our character motivations and personalities. And I think it's also clear that this series is going to feature episodic cases and our protagonist using his experience as a writer to read human behavior and solve them. But it does also seem like there will be some connecting overarching storyline since the first scenes of the show were our Watson character looking back 10 years down the line. The genre itself isn't all that original. I mean, there's tons of detective mysteries out there, but I really appreciate that they didn't try to throw in some weird gimmick to try to make this one stand out. I feel like the setting is interesting enough. I want to see what solving cases would be like in this time period, and it's sort of why I got so sucked into Murdoch mysteries to begin with. Is it worthwhile? Well, for me, that's a yes, but I also understand that I'm a sucker for any anything mystery, so I know that this is more for people who really like slower paced, human drama centered, cozy detective mysteries. Lots of intrigue, but maybe not so much action. And on that admission, I'll catch you in the next video.